Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. And now, first pitch your coming your way next. Detroit Tigers. Now, Kevin Yates. Two for six so far in the series. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game, and it looks like... Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Man at first, and now Jay Mack. Maybe not an elite level switch hitter, but still a guy. Some contact and just success as a hitter for both sides of the plate. Down the right field line and a base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Second and third, one gone. And next up for the Tigers, Glenn Stevenson. The first baseman. Glenn. And the pitch. Stevenson. And the one-two misses to even the count. Well, he doesn't get too big with the swing. He knows how to hit behind runners, and those are guys that can just smell that RBI. So when you're talking about a consistent player like this that can give you good at-bats from each side of the plate, that's the guy that you're going to see many times coming up big. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. The pitch. And a ground ball to first. Now two away as they get a run across. And next to hit for Detroit, Roberto Campos. One for four with a double in yesterday's game. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We move on to the second here at Comerica. It's the Twins four and the Tigers one. So two down and stepping in is the speedy J. Mack. Doubled in his first A.B. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Fought off foul. Tied at four. And a swing and a miss. Close guy on the mound understands that this batter is trying to take him deep. I think the key here is change speeds. Keep him off balance. Two outs. One ball, two strikes. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Come on, kids. Tied up here in the early going. And that one almost got him. All right, one time right here, kid. On the ground to the left, Rodriguez collects it. Zips it across. That is the inning. And up next for Detroit, Jay Mack. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. 
Intentional pass coming. Bases now loaded. So it does set up a force at every base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat. But this team does not want to let him beat him. Two outs. Bases full. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Glenn Stevenson. See it driving the stove right here. In the air, center field. Kelly brings it in, and that is the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're all tied up, 5-5. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. And now Let's here go. is Jay like Mack. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact yeah. the game defensively. They count on him to deliver right offense. Now. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. Ripped into left center, base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Glenn Stevenson. The pitch down the line towards the corner Schultz towards the line looking up makes a one-handed catch now batting right fielder Roberto Campo. Roberto Campos up now for the Tigers Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. And a pitch. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Action in the pen down there. Tom Miller appears to be getting loose. Santana getting loose as well. Any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. And now the lefty, and it's even up. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And here it comes. Slapped foul. Let's go now. One time. Drive that pitch. Oh, here you go. The pitch. And down on strikes, two down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Man at first, now the left fielder, Quinn Sparbori. Ow! They got him, and that will end the inning. One time. Man at second here with two away. And now it's going to be Jay Mack, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. See it? Drive it. Let's go, kid. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Clearly didn't want to mess with them right there, so I think it makes sense to play the numbers game in this spot. And here's the first baseman, Glenn Stevenson. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. In the air, right field, Schultz gliding to his left. He makes the grab, and that is that. Eighth inning coming up. Tigers 10 and the Twins 7.
nice sweep in this series, and you continue playing at home. Everything feels good right now. This is the type of run that you can put together a nice, long winning streak. We'll see if they're able to do it in the next game. 12-7, your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.